If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I am an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer and a football coach. What I am not is a financial advisor. I think today's uh, news which is coming is just absolutely amazing. And I've been saying this to my private Discord. I've been saying this to people on my Twitter. Uh, by the way, guys, follow me on Eat Healthy, Get R1, where you get all the alpha and all the pics about my coins and also uh, my day-to-day -day activities. And uh, the news of the day is that our good old BlackRock, they have filed for a spot. Remember, this is spot. So in that ETF, if you want to hold Bitcoin, it's not a futures ETF. You have to physically buy a Bitcoin, custody it, and only then it is a spot ETF. So this is not surprising to me. I've been saying this to my uh, subscribers, to my private Discord members that, guys, whatever is happening is a massive engineered scam. The fact that sending the puppet Gary Gensler, who has never used blockchain, who has never ever held any cryptocurrency, it's, you, you, it's just same thing as, uh, you know, those lecturers in MBA courses who have never ever scaled up a business and they teach scaling of business. That's the exact same thing here, folks. So we are putting the law in the hands of a person who doesn't even know what a blockchain is. Anyways, the people who really know and people who know, who have the software, Aladdin. I don't know, you need to uh, read about Aladdin software of BlackRock and you'll understand where I'm coming from. I think this whole attack on crypto was engineered so that institutions, so that people like BlackRock can join in. So I think this is a massive trigger for the start of the bull market. I genuinely think many, many, many other uh, big companies will apply for spot ETFs in many, many countries. I think this is a stage where the likes of Binance, uh, Coinbase, although uh, BlackRock are partnering with Coinbase for this, I think uh, the day is not far when, if you wanna buy Bitcoin, the only way you can buy is through banks, uh, through uh, these regulated uh, entities. So I think uh, they had enough of watching on the sidelines. They have seen how much money uh, these DEXs are making, Uniswap and others. They have seen how much money Binance is making. They have seen how much money Coinbase is ma making. And these guys, they are, mm, okay, we want uh, in on this action. So I think this is the first, first step. Also, who, as a company, who owns a lot of Bitcoin? Ooh, let's, let's do some statistics on this. Citibank, Fidelity. JP Morgan Chase, the CEO of JP Morgan Chase says Bitcoin is a Ponzi, but his bank holds one of the top, uh, his bank is one of the top holders of uh, Bitcoin. MicroStrategy, who is buying MicroStrategy uh, shares at the moment? Yes, we all know Kathy, Kathy Wood is buying, which is fine, she is amazing, but who else? Bank of America, BlackRock, JP Morgan Chase all the banks are actually buying bitcoin so don't be fooled by these media narratives um we are i think very very close at the bottom i am the only youtuber on the planet who correctly predicted what will be the bottom what will be the retest and i still think the pain might be still there because the banks might want to have another five to six thousand pound uh six thousand dollars discount on bitcoin but I, I genuinely think as retail tards, we should buy Bitcoin monthly. Not financial advice. I'm just a random guy in his bedroom, switching on some lights and trying to make a quick video. Who else has a lot of Bitcoin? Ooh, you have BlackRock as number two. Retail guys, stop reading mainstream media. Honestly, do your own research. Think where the world is heading, and I think it will be really stupid if if you at least don't diversify, if you don't have some exposure to some cryptocurrency on the planet. And who's the boss? The boss is Bitcoin. I've been saying this to my private group that the only show in the town is Bitcoin, 
at the moment. Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see what the governments are doing. Ooh, the Chinese government holds the most Bitcoin. FBI, probably US, have seized this Bitcoin and they actually have a lot of Bitcoin which they occasionally sell. It is crazy, guys, if you think like that. Finland has a lot of Bitcoin. North Korea, maybe through Lazarus Group, all the scams, they have some Bitcoin. Ukraine, absolutely amazing amount of donations from all over the world, including Vitalik, uh, donated to the Ukraine cause. Again, has uh, governments, uh, Ukraine government has a lot of Bitcoin. And this is just the data which is available, but I'm pretty sure governments around the world gonna soon, gonna soon scramble to get as much Bitcoin as possible. So as a retail people, as people who have really small amount of money, I would say we should now buy Bitcoin. Not financial advice. All these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Now I want to know, given the fact that I have given you some statistics, what are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.